Welcome back, uh, people, to um, Roo Studios Tech It 1.2.9G, episode 12, I think this is. Um, and I've just done a little bit of work on the uh, the tree farm. You can see the border I've got around here. It's a um, 14 by 14, or in fact, it's, I think it's a 15 by 15 square because the radius is 7. So the plane is going to go in this hole, and we go 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7. In each direction, one, two, three, four, five, six, seven. So, uh, and same as that way. So, the planter will plant in this square here. Once I've got it, so we go. Just a quick show of what I've done so far. I've extended the uh, the road. I've dug it up a little bit because I'm laying the ME cable from our network out to here. I come down here and duck in. So you can see now I've got the ME network pipes coming up to the planter. And the harvester will end up in here. I might just move them off to the side a little bit and get the power coming up from underneath, um, depending on how we how we do this. Um, and I need to make so what I need to make at the moment is the harvester and an interface for the harvester. And I'm going to need some uh, tanks here too because uh, this when we do the harvesting, the harvester actually collects sludge, and uh, we have to make a sludge boiler um, to convert the sludge into low cost items which is pretty handy because it gives you cobblestone and sand and all sorts of stuff which is pretty pretty neat saves you having to go dig it up or find it uh, all the time uh, this just keeps your stocks up um, so what we'll do is the uh, so I've basically as you can see I've dressed it all up inside um, so I guess what we're up to now is uh, we're going to make the harvester and the planter we also need to get a, um, an ender tank in here with a magmatic dynamo so I can power these two things up. Um, and uh, yeah, an interface and uh, we'll get this thing underway. So let's get cracking, shall we? Uh, I'll just, while I'm here, I'll just block this stuff up now. I've got, um, I've done all I need to do in here, so I've got to be careful because this stuff sends you flying really quick. So short bursts only. Oh, <laughs> that's what I mean. When you move fast, you tend to overshoot a little bit. And there, and there. Okay, I'll cover that in later. Well, uh, why not? Let's do it now. We're here. A bit more dirt. Yeah, Pete, more dirt there. Cover that in. I might just actually, while I'm here, just dig that out too. Because I find when I turn around this bend, I run into that. Um, oh, awesome! <laughs> it's one of the bad things about laying on a pipe. It's a block and a half away from uh, the next level, and you can't jump up to it. Okay, there we go. So, off to make our planter and our harvester and a um, ME interface. Probably a fluid interface. I think we need. So I just pop in here. I'll. Oh, a little bit of lag there. Just get rid of this stuff. And what we need is a harvester. Hit R for the recipe. So we need, oh, we need an invar axe. So we might need to make some invar. Let's see how much invar we have left. Four. Okay, we need to make some invar ingots. Um, which could be a bit of a problem because I think I've used up all my pulverized iron. Oh no, we've got a heap there. Good. So let's grab uh, let's grab a stack of those and some ferrous. Half a stack of those. It should be enough. One, two, put that back, put that back there. Should <laughs> I keep forgetting I don't need to grab stacks of things, I just put them in here and uh, grab what I need. A stack. Uh, let's grab two stacks. That should do for, for now. Alright, just go and pop that in our smeltering machine and wait for that to come through. What else do we need to make? I think we need to make a... Um, couple of machine frames or do I have some left still I've got 
one machine frame left but I do need to make it another one or two I think so pop that there we need let's clear that out some iron I do love the way you can put the pattern inside the um, the crafting area so you can you don't have to worry about trying to remember what what you're doing all the time you know I've got a memory like a sieve so I um and always having to go back and try and figure out how to do things. So let's uh, let's grab ten of these just to stock up. Um, what else do we need now? Uh, we need an invar axe. So let's uh, we should have enough invar to make that. So let's grab some sticks. Some invar. There's our invar axe. We'll keep that out for now. We don't need to make a heap of those. All right, next. We need some shears, and I think we've got the rest of the stuff there. So, a couple of shears. that should do us okay back to the harvester and stick that in the recipe and now now we go okay there's our invar axe we need there's our shears did I make two of those hmm maybe I didn't no, I'll leave that there we'll go into our other one over here there's some let's see if I've got shears here oh I do have to shears look at that oh they're used so I can't use those all right No matter, just whip two of these up, come back into this one, and that's why I make, the only downside here is you lose the pattern if you move away from it, so let's just go back into Harvester, put it back in there, okay, we need some plastic, oh, we need plastic, okay, so I think we've got a heap of rubber here, I chopped down some trees before, there we go those in the harvester okay so we have some rubber nets so have some plastic now so back to our harvester pattern bit of plastic in there pop them back in there our machine frame and some gold they are a bit complex these things but um, that's alright. Not like the uh, ME basic networks where you need a whole pile of them. You only need a couple of these. With the cabling of the ME networks, my goodness, they're crazy. Especially for what they are and the amount you need. It just the, the manufacturing just goes on forever. Ah, interesting. All right, so we need we need to go back and make some more of these reception coils. Okay, so it's some gold. And some redstone. There's a handful of those. Come back here. And I think that's the last thing I need to put in. Yes, yeah, so I'm not going to worry about the pattern now. Plonk that in there. And there's our harvester. I only need one of those. I'm only going to take one of them. Um, Okay, and the next thing we need is the planter. So, a couple of pistons. So, let's get the pistons made up. Uh, I'm not sure if I made a heap of pistons. Let's have a look. I did. So I've got a couple of pistons there already. So, let's just plonk those there and there, which is where they belong. Um, What else was there? Got the machine frame, we need a flower pot. And we have the rest. All I need is a flower pot. I can't remember how to make a flower pot. <laughs> that's, uh, that's crazy. Let's have another look at that. I th 
think it's clay. You make clay or bricks or something out of a flower pot. Bricks, clay bricks. Okay, do I have any of those? Gee, I don't know. I think I do. Yep, there we go. So into this one, clear that. Make a flower pot for us, put that back. Flower pot there. Uh, what else was there? Uh, copper. So some copper ingots instead of the gold. And there's our planter. Excellent. So we have a, now we have a planter. We now have our harvester. We need a magmatic dynamo. Now I spent a bit of time in gathering resources and I've made a heap of magmatic dynamos. Here we go. So I've got one of those. Uh, we need an ender chest. Ender, sorry, ender chest and ender tank. So let's uh, get the recipe for that. Hopefully, ooh, I might need to go and grab some blaze rod for that. Um, let's see. Clear that now. And I've got obsidian. Ah, oh, look at that. I'm short by one. All right. Bear with me, I'll be back in a sec. I'll grab some blaze rods. Okay, I'm uh, back from the nether and I've got myself another 30 odd uh, blaze rod. Um, I actually found another fortress close to my spawner there. Um, uh, it's a little bit closer than the first one we found, so it's just on the other side of the spawner. So I'm going to set up a path. When I start building my base into that, um, in that area, I'm going to set a path to that. So there, and there's two, there's actually two blaze spawners right close to each other, so I might be able to set up some sort of a uh, a dual farm in there. Um, I have an idea um, for making a farm you know, using the, the tools in the mod pack which is uh, which should make life a whole lot easier when it comes to building farms. Um, I learnt this, uh, I figured this out, well, it's not that, it, wasn't, it wasn't really that hard to figure out because um, you know the tools make it very very easy to to, to make farms these days. Um, so uh, we'll get to that in one of the next later episodes, but uh, currently what we're at is um, making an ender tank. That's what it was, an ender tank. So we have our blaze rods, so we go, I uh, pretty much know this off by heart now, so um, like that, I get some wool there, oh I need some, I need some pearls, oh that's no good. All right, we've got to find an enderman. Uh, I'll be right back again, sorry. Okay, so I found some uh, some pearls. I have nine there. Going to um, save some of those for finding a uh, end fortress. Um, now, I know roughly where one is because I've been playing this map uh, on a separate world before. It's roughly over in... Um, I don't know exactly where it is. I don't have to go and use the old vanilla method to find it. Um, but it's roughly over in that direction, over there. Um, about a thousand blocks or so. Uh, and I'll go in there and we, we're going to use that um, later on in the game. I need to use, uh, make a farm, an ender farm in there to make some, uh, to get some mob essence. Because we need mob essence to, uh, to do some stuff. Um, but for the meantime, we'll make this uh, ender tank and we'll get stuck into finishing this tree planter. So we have our pearls now, so pearl down there, uh, obsidian there and there, and we need a cauldron. So just clear that, get our iron back, one by, and there's our ender tank, and it's filling up with oil by the look of it. We need to fill it up. Yep, it's filling up with oil. So what we need to do is change the code on the uh, the three wolf sections. Oh, darn it! At the top, which is we want lava. It's white, red, white. So we need to um, get some red red dye or some red tree sapling. Hopefully, I've got some upstairs. Did I pick that marble block up? I did. Excellent. Pop 
drop that back there. So we need some red sapling. Um, well, we've got red. We've actually got some red flowers there. We might just grab some of those and make some red dye out of that. That'll do it. So put our in the tank down again, use our red dye for that. And there's our lava. Excellent. And that's how you basically work your codes there. So there's our lava. Now we need some uh, fluid duct. Fluid duct there. That should be enough, I think. It should be more than enough. And we need some hardened. Yep, hardened energy conduit. Now, as a side note, I um, let's get a couple of those. I had to replace all of my power, all my leadstone energy conduit um, earlier downstairs because it wasn't providing the power that the lava and the magma dynamos could supply to my network. Okay, so things were dying out fairly quickly, and it wasn't it wasn't a case of the magmatic dynamos being too small a power. It was a case of the um, the leadstone energy conduit not providing enough. Now if we go into, and I'll just show you what I mean here, if we type in leadstone and look for our, there it is there, if we hold down the shift for it, it gives us 80 RF per tick. Now if we go and type in the hardened uh, energy circuit, which is this one, and hold down the shift key, that gives us 400 RF per tick. Um, now, 80 RF per tick wasn't big enough to flow the energy through the pipes into the machines. The, and so that was basically the bottleneck. So I had to replace all of my leadstone pipe with hardened leadstone pipe. And basically all that is, is if we go to the recipe and hit R, um, there's our leadstone energy conduit. We just got some redstone and some invar nuggets and we made our hardened energy circuit. So you weren't, we weren't wasting our leadstone energy piping, we just had to modify it to uh, increase its output. Um, so we sh we've got all that still happening, and yes, it's a bit more a bit more expensive with the Invar, which means we need more iron and ferrous metal, but they're fairly easy to come by if we keep mining, um, and we can basically go from there. So what have we got? We've got that, that, uh, we need a interface. I'll just get rid of all these zombie stuff we dropped as well while we're at it. It's the problem when you go into uh, normal mode, you um, you get your Enderman, but you certainly get every other mob as, as well to go with it. Um, no matter, but I'm not going to, I'm not going to, just bear in mind that I won't go to uh, normal mode while I'm doing tutorials, because you don't want me to see me fighting mobs all the time, you want to see me building this stuff and watch how it's all done. So that's why I'm in peaceful, normally I'll, I'll play in normal mode, but uh, yeah, for you, for the sake of you guys, um, I'll keep uh, keep it in peaceful mode until I need stuff and we'll go from there. Eventually we'll go to normal mode because uh, we'll slow down a little bit. So we need a interface, um, probably a fluid interface I'd suggest. So if we type a interface here, there it is there, if we go R, uh, we need an ME interface which means oh, we need one of these. Um, now do we have, I think we have what we need here. Silicon. I'm not sure we got silicon. Oh, we do have silicon. Look at that. So we need a conversion matrix. So let's get the recipe for a conversion matrix. There it is. There. These are all conveyor belts. We use these a lot. These are great, uh, especially when we start making farms. Um, and I'll show you how to go through that. You need a lot of rubber for those. Fluix dust. Do we have fluix dust? No basic processes. Okay, so we need. Uh, okay, let's start building this up. Might get a couple of these going, I think, if we can. It's iron. So it's the one thing that's painful about this at times, it, it does drag on a little bit when, you, when we start making um, all these things. Oh, we need a basic process. My goodness! All right, I'm not gonna I'm not gonna spend too long here. I'm gonna uh, go offline, and I'll I'll be right back once I've made this conversion matrix. It's you don't want to sit me here fiddling around with this all the time. So uh, I'll be right back. Give me a sec. In fact, what I might do is I might cut it there because we're at uh, 20 odd minutes, 22 minutes. 
um, and I'll come back on the next video and have everything made ready to proceed to setting up and starting this um, well the next phase of this this uh, tree farm so uh, if you're enjoying the series please like and share it and uh, subscribe uh, it helps me out and I will see you in the next tutorial bye for now